Okay, so the I can for today is I can analyze patterns and relationships. So I've already drawn for us two apples here, and we're going to talk about how they um, work into our I can statement for today. The I can statement is also a little bit longer than normal because there are three parts to it that I want to cover. So this video is um, will be a little bit longer than normal, but that's okay. So first of all, the I can statement analyze patterns and relationships. So we're looking at um, two different patterns. We're going to be able to create two patterns given two rules, okay? Then we'll be able to find the relationship between those patterns, which are the corresponding terms. That's a very important keyword, corresponding terms. So that's the relationship part. And the last is you should be able to form and graph the ordered pairs. Okay, all right, we'll get into everything in just a moment. So first of all, let's create a scenario. Let's say you go to Publix and you go to the store and you would like to buy some apples and you're going to compare the two different prices of the apples. You have green apples, um, the Granny Smith, and red apples, red delicious. Okay, so you go to the produce section and you're looking at the apples and looking at the prices and you see that the green apples, let's say, are a dollar per pound. Okay, and the red apples are going to be three dollars per pound. Okay, so the point of this I can is to be able to take two different um, starting values and to be able to create two patterns given two rules. Now, you think, oh, what do you mean by a rule? This is a dollar and this is three dollars, right? So you should be able to take those two values and see what rule they've given you by creating a chart. So I'm going to create a chart and we're going to think of the chart as listing the prices for multiple apples bought. Okay, so let's say if you bought, or sorry, pounds, I said they were pounds, right? One dollar pound, three dollar pounds. So let's say if you had one pound, how much would that cost? Two pounds, how much would that cost? Three pounds, four pounds, five, and we'll stop right there. Well, actually, we'll go to six and seven in case. Yeah, we'll do that. Go ahead. Let's go to six and seven. So, so for the green apples, if you bought a pound of the green apples, that would be one dollar, right? One times one is one. Two pounds, two dollars. Three pounds, three dollars. You should see that pattern. It's increasing by one. You just multiply the dollar by the poundage, right? And then right here, same thing, except for this time, it's three dollars a pound. So three times one is three. Three times two is six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, and twenty-one. Okay? So you've just created two patterns. And you can see that the rule for the green apples, the Granny Smith, is plus one. In order to get from one term to the next term, you're always adding one. The rule for the red delicious apples is plus three. In order to get from three to six, six to nine, nine to 12, and so on, you have to add three to get to the next term. Okay, so we've created two patterns, given the two rules, plus one and plus three. The next step is to look at the corresponding terms. So I'm gonna use blue for this one. One of the I cans for today is to be able to look at 1 and 3, 2 and 6, 3 and 9, 4 and 12, 5 and 15, 6 and 18, 7 and 21, and find a relationship between those two numbers. So this is your term, okay? Your first term is 1 and one and 3. They're both the first term, okay? This is 1, first term, 1 and 3. Corresponding is like a fancy way of saying like buddies. These two are buddy terms. 1 and 3 are buddy terms, okay? 4 and 12 are buddy terms. They're both term 4. Let's look at 7. 7 and 21 are buddy terms. There is a consistent relationship between these terms. I always like to look at the first term and the second term and see if it's increasing value or decreasing in value. So 1 to 3, 2 to 6, 3 to 9, those are all increasing in value, right? Using whole numbers, that means you must be multiplying or adding because you're increasing in value using whole numbers. So I can see that if I try to multiply by 3, it will work. The relationship between the corresponding terms is to multiply by 3. And you have to make sure that it's a rule, that the relationship is consistent for every single term. Okay, 1 times 3 is 3. Check. 2 times 3 is 6. Check. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 3 is 12. 5 times 3 is 15. 6 times 3 is 18. 7 times 3 is 21. This is a consistent relationship. This is the relationship between the corresponding terms is times 3. Okay. Alright, final thing to do. 
really fuzzy. Funny final thing to do is to um, form and graph ordered pairs. And this is probably the easiest part because you pretty much already have all your ordered pairs right here. So the ordered pairs are the corresponding term without running out of ink. So we have one, three, two, six, three, nine, four, twelve, five. 15, and usually you don't have to have this many um, terms to find a relationship. It usually only takes about three or four terms to find a working relationship. Um, but I just got some extra ones so we could get a little more extra practice. So we have all of our ordered pairs and now we need to graph them. So we're lucky because in fifth grade we only have to worry about that first quadrant, the positive um, integers. So let's start at the origin, zero, and since our maximum is 21 over here and seven, we'll go to 21. So um, do um, stops by three. So three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, and then we'll get to twenty-four as max. Okay. So one, three, a little bit over to the right. One, up three, one, three check. Two six, a little over two to the right, six up. Check. Three to the right, nine up. Check. And this isn't perfect. I apologize for the imperfection in my graphing skills. Five fifteen. Five to the right, fifteen up. Check. Six eighteen. Six to the right, eighteen up. Check. And then seven to the right, and then twenty-one up. At the dots in fifth grade, they want to um, start to introduce the straight line when students graph the ordered pairs to see the relationship is a consistent linear relationship. Okay, all right, let's re quickly review. I know this is a longer video. I can analyze patterns and relationships. Three steps create two patterns, check corresponding terms. So find the relationship between the two, um, or sorry, find the relationship between the corresponding terms, check. And then at the very end, you should be able to take those terms, create them into ordered pairs, and then graph them. And that's it.